So, real tension and excitement ahead of this final. The last team to defend the women's 4x4 crown was Germany in 2002 in this very stadium in Munich. And it's the home nation going on the inside in lane one. Spain in two, Great Britain, Northern Ireland in three, Belgium in four, then Ireland, the Netherlands, Poland and Switzerland. Well, the Polish quartet have been filled as the Golden Girls with advertisements for Championship Courage featuring them stepping out of glossy cars, wearing sunglasses. But what kind of shape are they in? Disappointed a little at the World Championships, but they are the Olympic silver medalists. And they have strengthened their team come this final with Kilbashinska on this opening leg as we wait for the stagger to unwind on that second leg. Berlingo there for Belgium and Ahurugu of Great Britain emulating her sister, the British national record holder, and improving significantly this year. Wouldn't have expected her to her be in uh, this kind of form a couple of years ago, but a late bloomer. So Baumgart Witten now has the bat on for Poland, but Belgium going really well on this second leg. And the Netherlands a little way back. But Lika Klaver with a chance to push them up. Phil Healy of Ireland in fifth place. So important from their point of view that Adeleke has a good sight in front of her. No doubt that she'll try and make up some ground. So Britain from Belgium, Poland and the Netherlands, the top four who've broken away here. Lika Klaver, who says she enjoys running the 200, but of course, helping the Netherlands win the 4x4 European indoor title in Torun last year. On to De Witt, as we see Germany and Switzerland battling some way behind. So Jody Williams, moving to the 400 metres over the last couple of years, but concentrating on the 200 in this event. Leading for Great Britain and doing a good job, just opening up that gap. Adeleke passing Germany and hoping to overtake Switzerland as well, but she's well back in fifth place. Pretty much deja vu from 400 metres ago. Adeleke doing a solid job, but still it's going to be Britain and Belgium who battled, of course, in the men's race. But the Belgians just going in front. So it's Camilla Laus against Nicole Jürgen and Femke Boll. The Netherlands are right where they'd want to be at this point. And then Kazmanek of Poland, the incredible finisher. Well... Natalia Kazmarek, 49.86, the Polish record holder at home in Silesia in the Diamond League recently. Boll, who already has two gold medals at these championships. Jürgen tries to use her shoulders to go around the outside, but is out-muscled by Femke Boll, who's on her way to win her third gold of these championships, with Kazmarek coming through for silver. What an incredible championships from Femke Boll. Yet more Dutch delight. 3.20.87. Well, we wondered whether the Dutch had the full strength in depth to do what they did at the European indoors. But, oh, yes, they did. They've beaten the Golden Girls of Poland and the Brits. A really close race down to the wire with 200 metres to go. You needed some 800 metre tactics in there, positioning around that final bend. But the Netherlands coming out strongly in the end. Femke Bowl, it almost looked like she was biding her time on the back straight, just waiting, not wanting to kick too early, not want to be, not wanting to be vulnerable in the last hundred metres. And tears all round from the Netherlands team. But Lika Klava ran a really brilliantly strong second leg as, as well, powered her team right up to the fore. They then got caught up. It was a very messy handover between some of the latter legs. And I do think the 
team from the Netherlands doing really well to manage to come home for the gold medal. And a lot of that credit certainly has to be given to Femke Boll. She's inviting the other athletes that ran in the heats to come in the lap of honour. I think they're going to leave them to it, but that's a lovely touch from Femke Boll. But the athletes who ran in the heats will also get medals and they are also allowed to stand on the podium. There's Friday getting in in the action. The irrepressible European Championships mascot. So it's a goal for the birthday girl, Lika Klaver. And so wonderful to see the team celebrations. The whole squad part of this and training together. Think about those that don't get to run as well. They're part of the drills. They watch on nervously to see what will happen. So we have a look at some of the highlights of this race. In the press conference, Femke Boll was asked, you know, what is going on in Holland? Why are you guys so good? She credited their training base and their team atmosphere. She said, we're all having fun. We're all working together. Our coaches communicate well. And when you have a lovely nurturing but high performance environment that, like that, that's when you see these fantastic performances coming out time and time again. Femke Boll, of course, one of the you know, best athletes in this squad from the Netherlands, but they're all doing really, really well. They're all running lifetime bests. They're out here pushing each other to be the very best versions of themselves that they can. Natalia Kaczmarek of Poland was trying to track Femke Boll. Femke Boll made a move with around about 100 metres to go that the pole couldn't quite cover, but she measured her effort really well to pick up a silver medal for Poland. Not quite enough to defend their title, but a really good showing from the Polish 4x4. They were out of sorts at the World Championships, and they've come back here a lot stronger at the European Championships. What I'd like to know is how Femke Boll is now going to celebrate. You'd expect a glass of champagne, but I suspect she's also so tired all she wants to do is go to bed now and just get herself ready for the international circuit over the next three weeks which will conclude the season with diamond league stops in lausanne belgium and zurich but all credit she's without doubt and i don't think anyone would begrudge me saying this the female star of these championships absolutely cannot beat three golds thank you goal. It's good that she was excused from the heats in this. We saw at the Olympics to so many of the rounds that she could deserve a bit of energy for her individual exploits. A good bronze medal for Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And, uh, a lot of good tactical positioning going on towards the end of their leg as well. And that's great to see both 4 by 4 squads pick up medals on the British side. Confirm result for the women's 4 by 4 relay. Netherlands, European lead and the win, 3.20. Poland just a second or so behind.